वेर डू यू डाउनलोड हिस्टोरिकल स्टॉक प्राइसेस फ्रॉम अगर आपको किसी स्टॉक का हिस्टोरिकल डेटा पुल आउट करना है तो कहां से करेंगे राइट लेट्स ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो द फर्स्ट प्लेस वेर यू नो यू कैन फाइंड दैट डेटा दैट कम्स टू योर माइंड इज गोइंग टू बी द स्टॉक एक्सचेंज वेबसाइट राइट हम एन एस सी या बी एस सी के वेबसाइट पर जाके डेटा निकालने की कोशिश करेंगे एंड जनरली वेन यू काइंड ऑफ गो टू दैट वेबसाइट यूल ट्राई एंड काइंड ऑफ गेट डेटा लेट्स आई वी आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट डेटा फॉर इन्फोसिस so on the nse website i can go to this tab called market data or market data may when we go down then you know uh, you'll have a tab called historical reports i can click on that i can go to security wise price volume archives and i can click on that i can put the symbol of the company and we will get infosys infi and i can let's say get one year data but let's say if i want more than one year data then what do i do so i put custom and here let's say we go back a few years let's say i want data from april 15th 2023 till 2025 and i click on go and you realize it sort of throws an issue that you can only download data for one year range can't be more than one year so if you want four years of data you have to either do it manually again and again for each of the years and then pull out that data and work with that right to ek saal se zyada ka data hame yahan pe mil nahi raha hai Let's try BSE. So the next thing is we go to BSE website, and when we go on the BSE website, uh, right at the bottom of the BSE website, you'll find this tab called Historical Data. So you can click on Historical Data. It will take you to a page where you have equity indices, all of that. Let's say I click on Equity. Equity will say Historical Stock Prices, right? And I click on Historical Stock Prices. I go there. I can put the security name here as well. Let's say Infosys. I put the date from. A particular period. Let's say I go to April 2023. Once again, 15th of April. Argument six, all the way up to now. I click on submit, and I get the same error, which is that the data has to be uh, not more than one year. Period cannot be more than 12 months, and that then again gives me the same problem that I have to either try it one year at a time and keep repeating it. So what solves that problem for us, right? So we go to Google Finance. right you can just open a google sheet uh, with your google account and uh, just try and go there and what we are going to use is a function called google finance so google finance uh, if you see if i start typing here will give me the parameters and the parameters include a ticker an attribute start date end date and an interval right so ye syntax hai iska kaise hum dekhenge formula ko agar detail mein dekhenge if we see the formula clearly then what you're going to see here is google finance and then it says nsc uh, colon infi exchange name and the stock name then you say parameter that you want to derive is price what is the start date what is the end date and do you need daily data or weekly data for example so that's the sort of spectrum that is there if i copy this for example i go here and i click equals to and paste it here right to humne wo स्ट्रिंग पूरा कॉपी किया आप नोट करेंगे स्ट्रिंग का डिटेल आपको दिखेगा द फर्स्ट पैरामीटर दैट यू सी इज द नेम ऑफ द एक्सचेंज एंड दैट ऑफ द स्टॉक एन ए सी ओलन इनफी इनवर्टेड कॉमर्स में देन द नेक्स्ट पैरामीटर इज प्राइस जो हम डिराइव करना चाहते हैं पुल आउट करना चाहते हैं डेट कहाँ से शुरू कर रहे हैं वेर आर वी स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम और कहाँ पे खत्म कर रहे हैं वेर आर वी एंडिंग टू एंड डेली डेटा इज वॉट आई नीड एंड आई प्रेस एंटर then it will automatically load data starting from 1st of jan 2021 because that was the parameter we had given and if i change this to 2020 then it will start and load data from 1st of jan 2020 all the way up to the latest data point that i have put there where do i want the data to be till so because i put uh, 2024 uh, december 31st we got this data and this data kind of came out now if i want to try this with another stock for example i can go to the google finance uh, tab and let's say i click on tata motors right now the thing that is important is i need the string the code of the stock is needed here and if you see here on the top you see nse colon tata motors is what we are basically looking at right so if i go here and instead of in fee instead of in fee if i just say right tata motors right let's say i put tata motors and press enter i should get the data for tata motors over that period right uh 
gives adjusted data for bonuses, splits, etc. So you don't need to do anything. Data आपका directly adjust हो के आ रहा है जो आप करना चाहते हैं. इस पूरी चीज को आप parameterize भी कर सकते हैं. When I say parameterize, you can kind of put the cells where you can put input and then you know you can get this data out. So if I want to make the formula dynamic, I can put the elements there. I can say start date. I can say end date. Date has to be in month month date date y y y format. So zero one is month. Zero one is day. And then two zero two one, and I can basically say equal to Google Finance, and link these parameters. So ticker, comma price, comma start date, comma end date, comma daily. And I close bracket, press enter. It'll basically throw out the data. I can do the same for indices, right? So if I want to take the same data for Nifty Fifty. Right, so when I click on Nifty Fifty, just note carefully how the string has changed. Nifty Fifty ka string is Nifty underscore Fifty and exchange is index NSE. So ये पूरा string मैं यहाँ से copy कर सकता हूँ. I can copy this entire thing here, and I can basically put it here. And there's a small uh, space there. I need to remove that space. Once I remove the space, it should ideally give me the data for uh, that particular index starting from that day till here. Right, so that's your Nifty data starting from first Jan 2021 all the way up to now. So index NSE would be this if I want to check out, let's say, uh, the data for BSC 100. Right, so if you see BSC 100, then that's index BOM for Bombay Stock Exchange and BSC 100. So I can basically copy this entire string once again and paste it here. Right. And remember that there's a space. So once I remove the space, the error kind of gets taken out, and you'll get BSE hundred data. So you can get the stock data, you can get the the index data basically. And once you get that, then go and try and uh, do any calculations. Like if you want to calculate beta, then this is where the data comes from. There are a lot of parameters that you can use. There is a link here where all these parameters are explained. So I'm going to copy and put this link in the description of the video. You can check it out there. Uh, but basically, if you just do a Google search for how to use Google Finance function, you'll get all these data points, and you'll get all these parameters. For example, what is the price? What is the high? What is the low? What is the volume? And uh, you can get more data points like what is the beta directly. For example, right? So let's say if instead of price, I say this to be high, then this will be the high point of the day during that particular day, right? And for example, if I go back to our previous uh, data point, which is NSE hyphen infi, NSE uh, colon infi, let's do that. And uh, let's see what we get here. So this will be the high price for Infosys that you will get over all that, all those days, highest price at which it traded on that particular day. And if I say all, if I put all there in the attributes, Then it will give me the high, low, open, close, and volume of that day for that particular security. So all of this data is kind of pulled out. You can use this data for your calculations if you want to. You can kind of derive data. This is where you get data for more than one year. If you have more than one year, then you can pull out Google Finance. Pe aap ye data pull out kar sakte Different indices ka data you will get. Across the world indices ka data you will get. Global stocks ka aapko data mil jayega. You can go to the US. And find out data for the U.S. indices as well, if you want your stocks in the U.S. as well, any other geography as well. Those data points are available here. So that's how you would use this particular function to pull out data for a larger period than one year. If you need data for less than one year, then NSE and BSE websites work fine. If you need data beyond that period, this is the free source where you can get all the data, day end data that is available. That's it in this particular video. If you like the video. Please share it with your network. Do share in the comments your feedback about the video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel as yet, please do so. Thank you.